until our arms have brought the opportune moment for the establishment of a permanent national government representative of the whole people of Ireland and elected by the suffrages of all the herd men and women, the provisional government hereby constituted will administer the civil and military affairs of the Irish Republic and trust for the people. We place the cause of the Irish Republic under the protection of the God, Most High God, whose blessing we invoke upon our arms, and we pray that no one who serves that cause will dishonour it by cowardice, inhumanity or pain. In this supreme hour, the Irish nation must, by its valour and discipline, and by the readiness of its children to sacrifice themselves for the common good, prove itself worthy of the august destiny to which it is called. Signed on behalf of the provisional government, Thomas J. Clark, Sean McDemir, Thomas McDonagh, P. H. Pierce, Eamon Kent, James Conley, and Joseph Plunkett. Go well, Fancha Moore, Rove, August Tame, Han Brodol, August Halan Sasta, a Shasav and Shaw Live, and you are Donak, the Kaska, the Swede of Aragomradaha. A hui ruin, August a canch hui and teki. Is Kevinian and Maj a hug our lake or croga, or son searchan that cheer a shaw, and Maj a kyle shade. Cutchin shaw lin, nor a bean five in a hugging, nor nor a bean wedge threakta. Republic instead focused and strong and united. We stuck with our Republican principles. We persevered, we strategized, we planned, and we were active. And the People's Army, the Irish Republican Army, was an undefeated army when it took brave decisions to support the Sinn Féin peace strategy and to create the present opportunities for a new future. This society, the citizens of this island, especially in the north, would not be in this new place but for the dedication and determination and sacrifice of Republicans. So this campaign against us by the Irish News, the Sunday Times, the Tribune and others is not new. They did it in the 70s. They did it during the hunger strikes. They did it when I first stood with others for election and in every election since then. They did it during the battle of the funerals. They did it when I was involved in talks with John Hume. And they've done it constantly throughout the negotiations and the peace process. Are we going to let them defeat us at this juncture in our struggle? That's the question for us. Because that's what it's about. It's about stopping our development. So our focus immediately after this Easter break is to ensure that we mobilise and win the biggest Republican vote in the Westminster elections next month. Here in Belfast, we have a choice. Do we want a Republican to represent North Belfast and West Belfast? Do we want to stand and fly the Republican flag in East and South Belfast? and harness all of those Republican votes that are out there to be motivated and mobilised. This party has a tried, experienced and trusted leadership. In early March we demonstrated this by concluding an agreement at Hillsborough with the DUP. And we did this and have no doubts about how difficult those negotiations were. But we did this by facing up to the governments and the DUP and facing them down and making them live up to their responsibilities. Powers of policing and justice will be transferred next week. There will also be later on the transfer of other powers from London to Belfast. More powers moving government. Stop the war against Palestine. Build the peace in the Middle East. Shin and Jab will Ogin and Shah and Erin. Alana Rai Lesh and Shahan, August Alana Rai Lesh and Foblock. Begi Lin, Iriamak Moy, Divsha, 
Agus Bannock T, Nikaska, Dave Shah, Goliar, go to Mila Mila Mila, my Ogov Goliar.